Welcome to another video. Today I'll be going over how to install PokeCube or Minecraft version 1.16.5. This should be a relatively straightforward video on how to install it, so let's go ahead and get started. First thing we want to do is go to Google and type PokeCube. Alright, so you should be able to click the first link that is a CurseForge website to a PokeCube AIO. Click the Files tab. Go to the top line, which should be version 1.16.5 go ahead and click the download button once you click the download button a new tab should open up wait for five seconds for your download to start once it starts click the keep button to save to your downloads folder squirtle, squirtle. then go ahead and go to google once again search forge for 1.16.5 click the first link on the left side of the Forge website, you'll see all the different versions. Be sure to select version 1.16.5. Once you select it, go ahead and click the installer icon. New tab should start. You'll see a five second counter. Click skip when the counter is done and the download should start. Click keep to save the files to your download folder. The next thing you want to do is start up your Minecraft launcher. If you don't have version 1.16.5 already installed, you're going to need to install that. You can install this by clicking the installations tab at the top of the launcher, click new installations, name your installation, whatever you like, and then select the correct version, which is 1.16.5. Click create. What you want to do now is select the version you just created and then click play to install the version on your computer. Once the game loads, just go ahead and quit the game and we're going to go ahead and install Forge. So to install Forge, we will open up your downloads folder. So from the downloads folder, you can go ahead and right click to open with. You should see Java as an option to open with. If you do not see Java, you do not have Java installed, you need to download that. I provided the official Java download link below in the description, so be sure to download that. And if you do have Java installed, double click the Forge file. Be sure to click the Install Client and click OK. Once it's fully installed, go ahead and open up your launcher once again. Now you should see a version 1.16.5 Forge as an option to play. If you do not, we'll go up to the Installation tab once again. Click the new installation button, name the file whatever you'd like, and then select the correct version which is 1.16.5 Forge. Go ahead and click create. Go back to the main launcher page. Be sure to select the correct Forge version 1.16.5 Forge and click play to install that version. Now you should have a mods folder. Go ahead and click the mods folder. Click the opens mod folder. Once you do that, uh, a new window should appear. Open up the downloads folder you had previously, find the PokeCube file and drag it into this new mods folder. And that should be it. Now go ahead and click done and quit the game once again. And once you restart the launcher and click play, once you click the mods button, you'll notice that the PokeCube mods have now been loaded into the mods browser. Now go back and click single player to create a new world. Click the create new world button. We'll name the world whatever we like, PokeCube here. Game mode will be survival and create new world. Now once your world loads, you want to head to the Poke Lab, Poke Center, find the professor, and the professor will provide you your starter Pokemon of choice. And that's pretty much it. And if you play creative mode or the professor did not show up for some strange reason, we're going to have to make a few changes to the config files. Go back to your main Minecraft folder, find a folder called config. Click that. Inside config, there should be a folder called PokeCube. Click into the PokeCube folder. Once you're in the folder, you should see a file called PokeCube-Common. You can edit this with Notepad or any other text editing software. Once you open it up, you want to scroll all the way down to the last line. You will see this GUI on login is set to false. You want to change false to true. Simply retype false into being true. Save the file. And once you open up Minecraft once again and load up one of your worlds, you will be prompted to select your first starter Pokemon without the professor being there. Because PokeCube runs on Minecraft version 1.16.5, it allows us to use newer shaders and texture packs. For more customizable experience, you want to use shaders, and to do that, you want to go ahead and download Optifine and drag Optifine to your mods folder while using Forge. Once you load up Minecraft, you'll notice that you can use shaders and texture packs that are compatible with version 1.16.5, allowing you to play PokeCube in any way you'd like, vanilla, cartoony, or more realistic looking shaders. So here you can see it's pretty cartoony. We can go ahead and change it up and be a little bit more realistic looking. And that's pretty much it. And if you do want to see future mod videos, tutorials, showcases, and other things I do on my channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Maybe turn on the notification bell so you get notified. And as always, thanks again for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.